What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out Proof WWE wrestlers love their fans more than any other athletes. Now, we've seen so many times, even on live television, or maybe someone captures some footage at a out show of the wrestlers showing love to the fans that are in attendance especially the children and the in need of the children with special needs as well and not even just the children sometimes the adults like they they show love to the fans that are there because at the end of the day if the fans are not there fans not making any noise fans not buying these tickets then we don't have the shows that we have you guys saw how tough it was to you know make wrestling work during the pandemic era and when the fans were able to finally come back you could see the appreciation from the wrestlers to hear that energy to hear that reaction to see these people you know go crazy for them in the ring like it, it matters the fans are just as important as the actual wrestling that we see on the show so we're gonna check out some of these moments some of these I'm pretty sure wholesome moments where uh, wrestlers interacted with fans and showed them some love and it makes it makes wrestling what it is man I'm, I'm looking forward to this video been wanting to check this out appreciate all love and support let's get right into this man wwe's mission statement is to put smiles on people's faces say what you will about the company but they live by that statement in march 2023 Liv morgan was having a match against rhea ripley on smackdown ripley won the match which caused a young Liv morgan fan to burst Aww. into tears not wanting to send the little girl home crying wwe arranged a meet and greet backstage that's cool Hi. I couldn't leave you out there like that. I was so sad that you were so sad with me. Happy early birthday. How old are you turning? I'm 10. Wow. In like eight more years, you could be my tag team partner. <laughs> eight so I'm gonna wait for years. you, okay? I'll make sure I still wrestle so that in eight years, we could be new tag team champions. For luchadors, That's their awesome. mask is very important, and it's very rare for them to take it off during a show. At a WWE event, Dragon Lee spotted a young fan in the crowd who was also wearing a mask. Lee took the kid's mask and did something nobody expected. Dragon Lee removed his own mask and swapped it with the boy's mask. Wow. Lee then not only gave the young WWE fan his mask, but also gave the child a moment that he is sure to remember oh, for, for the sure. rest of his life. That's awesome. It's not just the wrestlers who help give fans experiences they'll never forget. During the 2024 Royal Rumble, CM Punk made his long-awaited in-ring return to WWE once he got inside the ring, Punk took off his shirt and threw it toward the crowd. Unfortunately, the shirt didn't make it and landed on the ringside floor. A referee standing by saw this and casually picked up the shirt and tossed it towards a young boy sitting in the front row. That's cool. Who said that referees suck? Ever since he's returned to WWE. That's cool, and the ref didn't even have to do that. That's awesome. You're like, hey, here you go. You know, just quickly pass it to him. That's awesome, man. Cody Rhodes has gone above and beyond for oh, the fans, for sure. not just by giving them amazing matches and moments, but in some cases, literally giving uh -huh. the fans the shoes off his feet. Here's the problem with the shoe, though. It's the whole thing. This is the real dilemma I'm in. Jay knows this dilemma just like I do. I can only give this shoe to the loudest person in here now. There was only one way Cody could top giving away one shoe. <laughs> Cody gave one shoe to Jey Uso, and keeping fans' safety in mind, Cody handed the other shoe to a crew member to give to the lucky fan safely. Mm -hmm. Jay, on the other hand, said, Go Lon. Oh, oh, wow. Yo, he launched it. <laughs> hey, he yeeted that shoe. <laughs> That's crazy. You walking out with a uh, uh, one shoe from Cody Rhodes. <laughs> In another heartwarming moment, there's a sound that caught the attention of Cody Rhodes after Raw went off the air. I've, I've just been alerted to something rather wild. There's a sign here that says, Cody, are we having a boy or a girl? <laughs> yes, a few WWE fans want the American Nightmare to reveal the gender of their child. So, was it a boy or a girl? That's cool. It's a boy! That's awesome, man. That's so dope. Congratulations. If you want to name the boy Cody. 
Don't. It's a terrible redneck name. You don't want to do it. <laughs> R.I.P. to everyone named Cody. Now, this next clip might not That's seem cool. wholesome, but watch until the end. After the 2023 Survivor Series was over, Great Finn Balor is walking to the back when he spied a young girl holding a sign. Balor grabbed the sign and handed it to J.D. McDonough, who then ripped it in half. <laughs> I know this doesn't seem wholesome at first glance, but as it turns out, the sign actually said, rip my sign. The fist bump at the end and the smile on the girl's face proved that Finn... And even though they're heels and obviously they're off camera and stuff like that, but that's still a still a good wholesome moment. You know, like those moments matter. Like this is what wrestling is truly all about. Moments like this. And JD gave the young fan an experience she'll never forget. I honestly guarantee this next clip is gonna make you cry. After WWE shows go off the air, wrestlers usually do one more match or something mm -hmm. special so the live crowd goes home happy. In November 2005, WWE had finished filming an episode of SmackDown. Eddie Guerrero got into the ring to say a few words before the fans went home. You know, this life is a very funny thing. You never know when you're gonna lose it and when you have it all in your hands. to this ring. I'm a blessed man by God and by you. Oh, what makes this sad is that a week later, Eddie Guerrero would wow. pass away. However, this clip shows that throughout his career, Eddie never stopped caring about his fans. Damn, you man. probably wouldn't think that chokeslamming someone would be a wholesome thing to do, but somehow it is. The 2024 Elimination Chamber event came to Perth, Australia. Kevin Owens was one of the six participants in the World Heavyweight Championship Elimination Chamber match. During the match, KO did something unusual, and I'll let Michael Cole explain why. And now Kevin Owens with a choke slam. Kevin Owens rarely uses a choke slam, but he met a young boy at a Make a Wish function yesterday here in Perth, and he promised he would deliver a choke wow. slam in this match. Awesome. In the 90s, Shawn Michaels was infamous for being a jerk backstage to his fellow wrestlers. While he may not have been the nicest person yeah. behind the curtain, HBK has always been kind to the fans. While wrestling a match against Stone Cold Steve Austin, a fan with special needs tried to get into the ring to help his hero. Once Michaels saw what was happening, he stopped wrestling and went outside to check on the fan. Wow. The Heartbreak Kid then helped the fan out of the ringside area before returning to the match. During another match against Mankind, Shawn Michaels found himself on the outside. A child came over to Michaels and gave wow. him a hug. While security was trying to remove the young boy, HBK instead gave the youngster a hug back, letting the kid know he was okay. Love him or hate him, John Cena... Hey. HBK had his, uh, his demons that he was dealing with, but the fact that he was able to show some fans, and I'm sure there was probably plenty of clips that we don't see or haven't seen, he was able to show some fans some, some love and, and gratitude in the heat of the moment, even though he wasn't really loved as much backstage, is a testament to how much he cared about the business, man. Cena always makes sure the fans go home happy. Before a steel cage match, John Cena gave his t-shirt to a young fan in the crowd. You can tell that gesture meant the world to her. Mm -hmm. Years later, after defeating one of his biggest rivals, The Miz, John Cena exited the ring and gave his armband to a disabled fan mm -hmm. sitting in the front row. Usually, it's the fans who are in awe of the wrestlers, but what this fan showed Jeff Hardy left the charismatic enigma speechless. During a meet and greet event, a fan who had been up since 5 a.m. came with an amazing replication of Jeff Hardy's face paint. Wow. Hardy was blown away by the paint and even gave the fan a shirt. The Miz might be one of the most hated WWE wrestlers on TV, but backstage, he's not the same guy. Mm -hmm. Don't believe me? Just watch this clip. He met his favorite WWE superstar. Oh my god, you're really gonna what happened? You're really gonna do that to me? He told me to. It was a two-on-one handicap match. George Kittle came in, Pat McAfee, it was two-on-one. What do you want me to I was in a ten thousand dollar suit. I know. Well the big show That's can be cool, a pretty bro. mean giant in the ring. Outside of it, he's the world's largest teddy bear. Just watch this clip and try not to smile. Hi! How are you? I can't help but smile. This is great. Romeo, 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 where art thou, Romeo? Romeo and Juliet? Nothing? Shakespeare? No. Don't worry, it'll work for you when you get older. It's all right. Okay, I know we've talked about Cody Rhodes already, but you really have to see this clip. WWE was doing a show in Fresno, California, of which the American Nightmare is a part of. Of course, the fans brought a lot of signs, but one of them stuck out more than the other. Hey, Fresno is really a sign town. You guys have a lot of very good signs. I really appreciate it. There's one that has caught my eye. 
There's a sign over here that says, Blindness can't stop me from seeing Cody. Wow. Cody then did something truly heartwarming and got out of the ring and walked into the wow. crowd to give the blind fan a moment that she'll keep with her for the oh, rest of her life. You might awesome, not think bro. of Triple H as the friendliest WWE wrestler. I mean, look at what he did to- Bro, man, this, this whole video is just straight wholesomeness and I love it. This is what we need more of in the world, bro. This, this fan. Right. However, when you aren't trespassing, the game is one of the warmest WWE wrestlers of all time. After Triple H and Shawn Michaels had gone down with the show, they headed backstage. As he was walking back up the ramp, the King of Kings spotted a fan with special needs in the front row. Triple H decided to make the fans night and walked him That's into the so ring. Cool, Once bro. inside, both of them, as well as Shawn Michaels, did the signature DX crotch chop. <laughs> Years later, Triple H would once again go out of his way to make sure WWE fan went home happy. In January 2015, John Cena's feuding with the Authority. This led to Cena being placed in a three-on-one handicap match in Seth Rollins, The Big Show, and Kane. Despite Cena's best efforts, the match saw him take a lot of punishment. A young boy watching in the front row couldn't bear seeing his hero beaten, causing him to cry. Triple H, who was sitting ringside, caught wind of this and actually broke character. The game comforted the youngster and let him know John Cena was gonna be okay baron corbin would follow triple h's lead a couple of years later and that's crazy you know what i'm saying and that he broke character <laughs> during that segment you know during that whole match just to let him know oh, he's he's good man he'll be all right <laughs> and actually did one better in 2017 baron corbin was wrestling a match in shinsuke nakamura a young fan got upset so lone wolf decided to make things right corbin held the boy up but what he did next made everyone in the arena cheer That's cool, man. That's cool. Baron Corbin literally gave the shirt off his back so the kid would go home happy. That's a professional. In February 2015, fans Beautiful, lined up bro. in the cold to meet CM Punk and get autographs. During the signing, Punk was approached by a teenage girl who would later become uh -huh. a signed WWE wrestler. Yep. To see who that was, watch this video. Yep, Cora Jade. Yep, how, it's crazy how things come full circle, bro. So crazy how life can work out sometimes but hey man this was such a wholesome video i've been wanting to check this out and i'm glad i did because videos like this it just makes you feel good it makes you appreciate the wrestling business as a whole and to appreciate the fans that go and i'm talking about the fans that are there to enjoy the show and not cause you know chaos and, and be assholes like actually enjoy the show for the kids that go to see some of their favorite wrestlers they look up to these individuals and for the wrestlers themselves to show that love and appreciation back heel or baby face it's a beautiful thing this is what wrestling is all about right there comment down below let me know if you guys have ever been to a show and you got to interact with a wrestler or you saw an interaction with a wrestler that was pretty wholesome that you know obviously wasn't in this video but i appreciate all love support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on next one peace